missed for years. They come out only at night and are looking for a tasty meal. I often refer to them as a blood-sucking cockroach. University of Missouri Extension entomologist Richard Hausman says bed bugs are becoming a big problem in the United States. With summer travel in full swing, Bed bugs are turning up in hotels, ready to catch a ride on your luggage. They're hitchhikers. That's how they're transported from place to place. They don't have wings and they can't fly, and so they rely on us to move them around. World travel and the reduced use of indoor pesticides have made it easier for bed bugs to multiply. Bed bugs may leave itchy bites, but the good news, the tiny bugs don't transmit any diseases. The entomologist in the MU College of Agriculture, Food and Natural Resources says one female can lay more than 200 eggs and a new generation of bed bugs can occur in a couple of months. Well, Houseman says over-the-counter insecticides are not very effective. You have to call a professional. It could easily cost more than $500 to wipe out the bugs in your home. If you can not bring them home or get them in the first place, you can save yourself a lot of time, discomfort, and money in the long run. Remember to inspect your hotel room for the bugs. With a flashlight, look around the headboard of the bed, along the seams of the mattress, and down the baseboards. Keep your clothes in your luggage by the door and avoid using the luggage rack. After returning home, if any bugs did hitch a ride on your clothes, a little heat should do the trick. Taking clothing out of the luggage and putting it immediately into the dryer on high heat for about 45 minutes eliminates any live bed bugs right away. Some simple tips so you can have a good night's sleep. From the University of Missouri, I'm Kent Faddis reporting.